this video I'm going to be showing you how I made these brilliant Scrabble style wall art tiles for my dining room. And the first step is to work out what design and layout you would like. I don't cover it in this video, but if that is something you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments below and I will cover that in a future video. Once you've worked out your design, you'll need to get the, the amount of wooden squares that you need. Now these ones I've bought, they're 12.5 um, centimetres by 12.5 centimetres and they are on 3 mil ply board. I bought these from craftshapes.co.uk. I will attach the link in the description box below. However, you can get these many places. Amazon sell them, get them um, online. So have a Google, but I will also attach the link where I got these from below. I've ordered 30 because they come in sets of 10. I think I need something like 27 or 28, depending on which design I go for. So I've got a couple um, in backup here in case I need them. So what I'm going to do now is I don't want the colour that they come in this basic uh, plywood colour. So what I'm going to do is using my wood stain, I've got this Coupinol oak wood stain and it will be roughly um, this colour here because plywood's quite soft. So it's going to be a nice sort of rich oaky kind of colour. I'm going to water it down slightly with some water in a little tub and I shall apply them using my foam brush. And I'm going to go through all of these. I will speed up the video so you don't have to see them. And then once I've done that, we will come back to how I get the designs of the letters onto the wooden squares. You'll see in a bit, I switched from using a foam brush to using a small paintbrush. The foam brush was getting a bit old and disintegrating and leaving little bits of foam on the tile and it was taking too long to get them off. And the only brush I had to hand that wasn't as clean and ready to use was this smaller brush. It wasn't too bad, it just took a bit of time. In future, I would use a slightly bigger brush to do this job. So what I've done, I have made up on the computer these um, squares of letters using the standard font. Just pick your font from Word or whatever your word processing software is. And I've added the numbers to match the letters that I need for my Scrabble tiles. So I've done a load of these, as you can see, they're all down here. So I've printed one off for each letter I need. I've got sometimes a couple of letters. I'm going to use them a couple of times, sorry, but I've only printed the one off for each time. So what I would like to do is I would like to paint the letters in a kind of a dark silver come graphite kind of colour. So I've got this um what's it from perfect ideas and it's um metallic anthracite so i've got that one and then i'm going to darken it up ever so slightly with a bit of black acrylic so I just take the lid off and then you put a little bit in to start with then using my stirrer mix that through until it's that was mixed in and it might take a minute or two. So as you can see there, it's a nice sort of dark silver cum graphite kind of colour. Okay, so that is the paint. I'm gonna wipe off the spray stick. There you go, and I've got a little bit of paint just on the edge there, so I'm just going to wipe that off so I don't get that on my fingers and contaminate the rest of the boards. And then I've got a little brush here, quite a narrow tip, so that I can get into all the bits of the letters. And I may switch that up and include a different brush. I've got this one a little bit bigger that I may use to get if there are slightly bigger um, parts of the letter to get to. Right, so what I am going to do now is I will get my pencil and I will line up my tiles like so and then I'm going to go round the edge of the letters actually before I do that on the flip side you can see I've shaded over where the letters go on the other side so then I can trace through so over the letters and over where the numbers go there we go so flip that over Line it up where you want, near enough, in the middle, kind of, yeah, I think that's about right. And then you just trace over the edge where the letter goes. So down, across, up. 
and what that will do it will transfer the the pencil that you put on the other side that you shaded on onto your tile so it traced it all the way around you might need to press quite hard sometimes to get it through and what that will do it will transfer and there you go so you are left with a shadow of the letter for you to be able to paint in and then i'm going to go through all my tiles and start doing that and then painting over the top so i will start that now so unfortunately i lost the footage of painting the first couple of tiles there but you can see the ones along the top there on the table that i have already painted and on fast forward i'm going to show you three tiles being painted just so you can see what i went through and the method i used i used the large brush for the letters on the tiles and then i just tidied up getting the sharp edges taking time going along the lines to make sure that it is sharp as i want knowing full well that this is a handmade and hand painted tile so it doesn't matter if it's a little bit off and then once I'd completed the letter, I switched my brushes and then you can see there and using the smaller, finer brush that I showed you earlier in the video, I painted in the numbers. Thank you for all for watching this part one of how to make these decorative wall tiles for your wall. If you have enjoyed the video, please do hit a like button and if not already, do subscribe to be one of the first to be notified when I upload a new video. Part two of this video will be coming shortly, so please keep an eye out. And once done, I will link in the end screen of this video.